Oh, Canada. <laughs> There's so many out there. What, what is your problem? Why? Why do you want to keep this pretense going? Like, you know, at some stage of the game, just rip the band-aid off. And once you do, you'll be like, oh, actually, it's a little better now. I'm getting some air. It's healing much better, right? <laughs> the scab's gone, right? You'll benefit better afterwards. But the like, Canadians are so goddamn... Just like sometimes I think about just some of the British people. Don't let your pride get in the way of your actual freedoms, fuckers. All right? Headline. An absolute fiasco. Disorganized candidate security causes backlog. Well, yeah. Oh, but but you're we're celebrating Canada, right? 150 years of what freedom from the monarch actually no that's actually no that we have we still have that quasi relationship with the monarch right so actually we have no freedom we never even got divorced it was like a trial separation for decades i guess <laughs> and and then you got you know the whole aboriginals that are hating on it the lgbt's against nationalism i mean it's just i mean look at the canada day has literally become yeah a fiasco well, identity politics and this divide and conquer and culture Marxism and all this bullshit, you know, getting away from the proper principles that are supposed to be what the foundation of this country is all about. Well, yeah, the further you get away from them, probably expect, expect exactly this, right? And Canada, you know, what's it say? Oh, the strong and free, right? Home of the strong, right? Real strong. Meanwhile, some people waited... Eight hours to be admitted on Parliament on on Saturday. That's due to heightened security, right? Ah, seems to be an awful lot of fear. Not much strength going on there. It more seems like fear and division as far as I'm concerned. Parliament Hill was the focal point of Canada Day, but many people say it was the very thing that ruined the festivities. Long security lines to get onto the hill left many people huddled together for several hours. The crowd reached 25,000 by noon Saturday and ebbed and flowed as the day progressed. How much you want to bet of those 25,000 people in Ottawa if they're not government workers celebrating their bunch of crony fucks or a bunch of parasites? It's like those people benefit tremendously from huge government. So them it's they're they're part of the team, man. Canada means something totally different to them than what it does to you or I. But once the designated state Stanchions or stanchions had filled the line spilled into the streets causing chaos one woman waited in line for three hours before a police officer told her she wasn't standing in an official line <laughs> i stood in line for three hours to get on the hill where the police officer told us to line up just to be told at the other end by another police officer that the line was closed now and go wait somewhere else for five hours no thanks she said she had Doyle on Facebook. Others said the brave they braved the line only to be turned away at security because the lawn was too full. What the fuck are you doing wasting your Canada Day at the Capitol? At the Ottawa Capitol. Central Planning Control Freak Central. That's where you chose to... Really? You have no family? You have no kids? You have no f friends? No neighbors? Other people to sit back maybe on the front porch? Or, or I mean on your back deck or your front porch or the backyard have a few drinks with maybe all right that <laughs> you chose to go yeah you'll get no sympathy from someone like myself because you were fucking foolish enough why would you want to go what, what what were you there just to pray to your political masters right yeah like I say nationalism look what it's done look what it's done because it's it's there's no there's no Canadian identity right so it's all about, we're not really one big happy family. It's a whole bunch of different families, but we still want to promote, promote the family values and the family unit. That's basically what this, this governments are doing today. It's like, well, yeah, Canada is all based on the whole pretense, the whole premise of the social contract, like the big family, right? We're all one big happy family. But Trudeau and the collectivist minions are all about divide and conquer. So it's like, actually, well, we still like the pretense of saying we're all one family. But look, this family hates this family. This first family hurts this family. This family member is completely opposed to this particular family. This uncle hates this nephew. It's like, like I say, it's all about divide and conquer. So, yeah, trying to circle that square peg. Yeah, this is what happens. See, this is what happens. This is why things fuck up so bad when you start into delving in to the divide and conquer or of politics right there should not be any special interest groups or anything it's 
if you care about rights and people, well, it's called universal human rights. Not LGBT rights, not um, minority rights, not Aboriginal rights, not white people rights, not black people rights, not anybody fucking, not government rights, not private sector. It's just human universal rights. Then you remove the very pretense, the very concept of divide and conquer. If we're all about, if we're all truly considered one big happy family, well, it's pretty hard to create that divide and conquer when we're all conceptually believed to be one big happy family. But identity politics, well, that's no longer the case. That's no longer even the pretense anymore, as we're seeing. So, yeah, of course. And if, did you hear? I mean, you've seen on my page, right? My Facebook page. Am I celebrating Canada Day? No, of course I'm celebrating the fact that I have a holiday, right? I'm celebrating it with my family, my friends, my loved ones. And yeah, I had a, actually had a pretty sweet time this weekend. And it's not done yet. There's still lots of time yet to go. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not... I would not waste five seconds of my day going to any political fairground, right? Or, or to go to any political media meetup or what? What did the union set this up? Like the public sector opsu or something, right? I don't know. I can't pretend to know. I don't even really want to know. But yeah, they're even admitting just, like I say, I mean, the optics are probably bad enough. So, let me just take the opportunity right now to look away because I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's a Canadian libertarian. I actually do love liberty.